Hey YouTube fans, this is Trinity Productions, Trinity Pro Sound coming at you again with another video on a new monitor for us. It is the RCF and this is the NX12 SMA that we're going to be showing you. It is a coaxial monitor, uh, 2A design and has integrated power amplifier of 700 watts RMS and has the uh, the standard um, Digipro type uh, power amplifier on it and we'll be getting into that but um, we are going to do a full review on this take apart show you the inner workings of it uh, and the, the cabinet and how it's constructed uh, we've already pulled these guys out of the box and have had a good listen to them uh, in the two modes that they offer, there is a floor monitor mode and a full range mode. And I can tell you that they've done a very good job with uh, perfecting this monitor and the sound of it. So with that said, we'll go and do just a quick roundabout of the cabinet and show you the outside. And then we're going to go ahead and get into the inside. So first off, we're going to start and rotate here and show you the end panel where the amplifier is. And you can see we've got the uh, power con in and out. Uh, we do have a XLR in and a quarter inch as well. And then we've got a linking XLR uh, on the out. We've got a volume control adjustment. We have a power switch. Uh, and then there's also the DSP switch that puts it into floor monitor mode, which basically rolls off uh, some of the low end uh, coupling that you would normally get with the floor um, when it is in a monitor mode. Um, as you spin it around, um, backside it has two wedge angles on it, the one we've got, and then uh, this wedge angle, and allows you to get just a little bit more um, angle on it uh, to shoot towards the back of the stage when needed. And one of the nice features is that it's got a pole cup. So with this configuration, with the 60 degree conical horn and the 12 inch driver, um, you can use this also um, with this pole cup as a full range box as well. Um, the RCF NX line comes in a 10 inch monitor, a 12 inch like we are doing on the review for you now, and then also a 15 inch monitor, all using the same, I believe the same power amplifier module. We'll take a look real quick and let you know. Um, no, in fact, the 12 and the 15 have the higher power. The 10 inch um, has a 400 watt amplifier in it, 300 watts to the low section, 100 to the to the high section. The 12 SMA is 500 watts to the 12 inch driver, 200 watts to the high frequency, and the same for the NX15. Um, crossover point um, on them is all at uh, 1700 hertz, and then all of them do have a 60 degree um, conical horn on them uh, for the uh, coaxial um, wedge. Um, they are um, neo magnets on each of these speakers. So as we get inside this, we'll end up opening this up and showing you the drivers themselves. Um, the weight of the cabinet is, I think about 30, maybe around 32 pounds, somewhere in there. It's not real heavy, it's not real light, but it's very uh, solidly constructed. It's got a really good look to it, a very good profile. So anyway, um, I think that's enough. Um, oh, one thing on the bottom, they've got some nice little rubber feet down there to act as um, protectors for the bottom of the box and to stop it skidding across the, um, the stage and the performance surface. So we're going to go ahead and break out the drill and open this puppy up and get right into it. So be right back. Okay, so we've got all of the six threaded screws out of it. They go into metal inserts around the grill, so three on the top and three on the bottom here. So we'll go ahead and open this up, pull it. Oh, we've got a little bit of dampening material from the edge stuck to the grill. But um, the grill is um, really heavy duty. I am liking this. Um, this has got to be it's better than 18 gauge, um, so it may be 16 gauge steel. So it is really strong, really heavy. So um, feels good. 
And again, with all the RCF and the DB technologies, foam liner, so it protects the, um, the speaker somewhat from water and things getting into the drivers. We'll lay that down here. And now we've got the thing exposed. This is the conical horn, the 12 inch driver. We've got a couple of ports in it. I'm going to pull this back and tip it up a little bit so that you can see. So there we go. So you can see the ports that are in there and then you can see the conical horn and uh, the driver for the conical horn is all the way through the 12 inch driver. So it's on the back side, and we'll show you that in, uh, in just a minute. So um, it does have uh, a little bit of um, foam tape here to um, keep the grill from rattling. And um, again, uh, very nice. All of the screws anchoring it are in Allen uh, nut. They are threaded. So if you have to ever replace the driver, it's not like you're running it into wood and going to strip them. They are threaded so you can pull them in, pull them out, and um, not have any issues. So anyway, um, that's the speaker. We're going to go ahead and pull the speaker out. And then we'll also, after we pull the speaker, we'll pull the amplifier out and get into that and show you what that looks like, as well as the construction of the box from RCF. So stay tuned. Okay. So we've got all of the screws out of the driver, and like I said, they are all threaded. Probably can't see that real well, but um, they've done a very good job on that. And then we're going to go ahead and just grab a hold of this conical horn and pull it out. And now we've got the driver in hand, and it's on just a, uh, a short umbilical here, and they've got the, uh, the high-frequency driver on the back of the... Um, the low frequency driver and it's all in an assembly magnet together. It is a um, cast frame basket. So we'll try to get this down here so we can see a little bit better without disconnecting things right at the moment. But there is your high frequency driver. There is your Neo magnet for the uh, 12 inch driver. Um, they are running uh, the impedance on the low frequency driver is four ohm. So they're able to coax a little bit more power out of the, um, the amplifier. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can't pull these leads off. Sometimes they're pretty stingy on there as far as coming off and stubborn. We've had them where we've had to physically get pliers to do so. But these are somewhat cooperating. So, as you can see there, we've got the back of the driver and we've got the low frequency inputs here, 4 ohm, and then the high frequency input connections are there. Um, it is Neo. It's fairly light. I would say that this whole assembly is maybe 8 pounds, maybe 9. So, um, surround on the cone. Go ahead and flip it around here so you can see the front of it. See the conical driver, um, but uh, with the coaxial um, configuration, the coupling uh, of this conical driver and the coupling with it for the, um, the low frequency driver just produces a very, very smooth, smooth sound. As we have found with listening to these boxes and uh, doing some demo work with them, um, they just sound fantastic. So we're going to go ahead, set the driver aside, and go ahead and take a look at the inside. Um, it does have dampening material um, all through the back of it, so that's why you don't hear any res resonance out of it. We do see the amplifier assembly here in the end. And then if you would look down this way, probably see the pole cup that's down in there as well. So, but um, very nice job. Everything's stapled in so it's not going to move around or fall out. So we're going to go ahead now and break out the, uh, the screw gun again and um, pull the amplifier out. And we'll show you the amplifier module that is part of this RCF NX12 SMA monitor. Stay tuned. 
Okay, so here we are back. We've got the amplifier pulled and um, this whole thing is probably four pounds in weight. Um, it is all a cast frame and everything um, is secured to it. The um, power semiconductors for the amplifier are uh, in heat sinks that are secured to it as well. And we'll get down here and show you the amplifier itself with the connections on this side. Um, just a little bit of decoration on the, the vent cover there to help with uh, exhausting. I don't see any holes in it, but it uh, looks more like it's decorative. On the back side, though, that's where all the business is done. And you can see the power inputs there, the, uh, the power con, and then also going to the power switch and the fuse. And then the rest of it is all capacitors, resistors, and surface mount semiconductors. Um, on that side of the board, you can see some of the power semiconductors there behind those silver heat sinks. And same thing on this side of the board. Um, you can see the other uh, power amplifier semiconductors as well. So um, just a mass of um, components on it, but um, very light and uh, kind of hard to believe that this thing gets some um, 700 watts out of it. So anyway, um, we'll go ahead and place this down and do a little bit of a spin here. Again, you can see inside the box, the construction of it um, is all multi-layered um, birch. And they've done a very good job on the inside with them. Um, you can see, maybe see some of the bracing that they've done, but they've done a really good job beefing this cabinet up. Um, the uh, port tubes are plastic uh, and not cardboard as found in cheaper speakers. And then all of the um, batting inside here is all stapled in so it's not going anywhere. Pull cup is all um, aluminum and it is secured in with threaded inserts uh, that are uh, on the back side there to sandwich that thing between the two pieces of wood in the cabinet, but um, done very nicely. Without the components in it, yeah, probably 12, 12 15 pounds um, in weight for the, um, the cabinet itself. So there you have it, um, RCF NX12 SMA coaxial monitor. You've seen the inner workings of it. Um, we're going to be doing some events here pretty soon that we hope to be able to take these out to and uh, do a review as well. We are going to try to do a uh, comparison, an A-B comparison uh, with the DB Technologies FM12 coaxial monitors. They're not quite in the same league, so to speak, um, being that the DB Technologies is, is less power. But um, we thought it would be a, a decent comparison, coax to coax, and uh, see how the two compare in uh, sonic quality. So uh, anyway, there we are, RCF NX12 SMA. You can check us out on the web at www.trinityprosound.com. We're also on Facebook uh, under Trinity Pro Sound and then also on YouTube under Trinity Pro Sound, and there's lots of videos and links there as well, um, back to our website and also to our Facebook page. So we're posting stuff all the time, and uh, if you want to just stop by, subscribe to us uh, on YouTube, and also, if you wouldn't mind, like us on Facebook. So uh, I think we've got close to about three quarters of a million channel views now on YouTube. Thank you very much. For your continued support and I think we've got over a thousand subscribers to our channel so again thank you so there you have it Trinity Productions Trinity Pro Sound here on YouTube stay tuned we are posting new videos often so uh, again thank you and uh, we'll see you around make some noise